Dr. Rob Kazmarski here at Morristown Orthodontics. This is what I spent the past two months designing and inventing and working with the manufacturer on. What they were starting to talk about in the news groups is us not being able to use our hand pieces or us having to have all this PPE that we couldn't get. And A, I want to be able to use my hand piece. And B, I really want to feel safe while I'm using it. I want my staff to feel safe while they're using it. This was my solution. This is what most dental offices rely on for their suction. Now, if you notice, it's getting probably, they say 90%. It's getting a lot, but look at the air in here. Look at how much it's missing. And even once it gets away from the mouth, look at, look at what happens when I turn this in here. All this gets into the air. But now watch this. Boom. What this is, is basically it's similar to a laboratory hood. It just acts as a negative pressure environment directly over the patient, but not in the entire room and not over me. A lot of the other ones, they have cellophane, forget it. You can't see through it. Patients don't like it. They feel claustrophobic. We've been using this for emergency patients and now regular patients. So you can see it flips up. The patient's already laying there. We bring it over to the patient. Flip it down. He's there. Darth is ready to be worked on. And I've got free and clear access. The beauty of it is not only does it tilt over, um, it's solid plexiglass. Um, the patient is not climbing into anything. They're sitting in the dental chair the way they normally are. You come and you bring the hood over top of them. And now when the patient's sitting there, 360 degrees, they're surrounded by plexiglass. I have yet to have a patient that was not comfortable underneath it. To this design that you're not gonna pick up on initially, okay? Number one, some of the other designs are flat at the top. This, this, the light can go right through. It's coming in through here, and I'm looking at it through this pane of glass. I've got zero reflection in my eyes right now, just because of the way that or a dental light hits this. The other thing is I do not use loops. Loops are the little telescope looking things. Um, but I have had a dentist friend sit down in a chair with me as a fake patient with his loops on. He's like, it's fine. I'm not getting any glare back at all. So that's two things. Three things is you worry about splatter. Some of the other things that are sitting flat, they're right over top of the patient's face. Look at the distance between here and here. That's a tremendous amount of distance. I don't think you're going to get any splatter at all. Um, and if anything, the suction right here is kind of drawing everything into it. So when you purchase this device, you will receive the hood, the stands, everything that you see, and it stops right here. It does not include the suction. You can use whatever suction that you want. My product works with any HEPA-proof vacuum. I am going to tell you that it's been tested with one that has 130 CFMs and it'll pull 96 inches of water. Those are two different measurements that they grade vacuums by. A lot of the dental vacuums will not meet those requirements. So if you're going to use a different vacuum, you have to be very careful in the specs. We disinfect the entire inside the, and the entire outside between each patient. Is it more work? Sure it is, it is more work. We never had to do this before, but you start looking at what the alternatives are. The alternatives aren't good. No matter what we do, we're gonna be doing something different for the foreseeable future on this. So having to wipe this down between patients, I'll take it, I think it's a good compromise. The most important thing to any of this is just to A, make sure that everybody in the office is safe, period. This makes things look different, but I think things are going to look different until there's a vaccine.